Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So today I'm here on, on a little quest. What's the quest? Let me tell you. So basically, I'm part of this group on, it's actually a Facebook group, but it's for YouTube. And basically it's like an engagement group. So there's, um, I think there's about 25 of us. And basically we watch each other's videos, we comment on each other's videos, we give each other YouTube advice, we give each other SEO advice. We basically cheer each other on and it's, it's honestly an amazing amazing group. Everyone's very, very kind. I'm very, very lucky to be a part of this group. They're all insanely talented creators. They've ranged from everything, gamers, musicians, randomosity like myself. <laughs> um, but literally, they're all amazing. And today I actually wanted to, before I do my actual video, I wanted to highlight one. One of my group members, her name is Ellie, and she is a phenomenal cover artist but she has this like rasp in her voice that I literally just can't get over and I'm literally obsessed and it's kind of insane so I'm just gonna put a little bit of a clip right here and I'll, I'll be back in a sec enjoy should I give up or should I just keep chasing pavement even She's incredible, but welcome back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link her channel in the description below. Plus there'll be a card up above my head and you can click on that if you'd like to go to her channel. Okay, so today we are gonna be doing a video that I've kind of already done hmm, two or three times now, but don't leave yet. So basically um, this video is going to be about why I started my YouTube channel. And yes, if you go back to my very, very, very first video, like a year and a half ago, like it was like the end of December in 2018, you will find most of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel in my very first ever video called my first video. <laughs> um, but to save you the time, I'm just going to kind of, you know, regurgitate it because nothing has changed. Okay, going back to the beginning really, really fast, we're going to say when I was growing up, when I was in high school, all of my friends were taking biology, kinesiology, science, this, that, and the other thing, because they all wanted to be nurses and doctors. And that's great. Nurses are great. Nurses are needed. But I never wanted to be a nurse. Literally, probably 60% of my class actually went through to become a nurse. And that's wonderful. But I never, that's never been my passion. That's never been something I wanted to do. Um, so while my friends were all in biology, kinesiology, meh, whatever else you need to do as they do, um, I was not. I was in photography class, guitar class, English class, because I wanted to be either a photographer, a musician, or a writer. And so I took a lot of my classes alone. Actually, I was taking 12th grade classes when I was in 10th grade because I just really wanted to take those English classes and they kept saying when I went to the guidance office that those classes might not be available the next year so uh, when I was in 10th grade I was taking classes with my sister's friends. Basically I took them all alone um, because none of my friends were interested in the arts the way I was um, and those that were kind of I think had set themselves in the same mindset as a lot of people actually had towards me where they'd be like so what do you want to do with your life? And you'd be like, oh, I want to either be a photographer, a writer, or maybe possibly a singer. And they're like, so what do you really want to do with your life? And you're like, um, I don't know. And it kind of made me feel so lost trying to constantly come up with different answers for different people. And like, of course, in high school and stuff, you have to take the mandatory classes and you have very few electives, right? And I think that um, I just eventually, well, to be fair, I tried so hard to fit in and not be different that I was so scared to start a YouTube channel. And that's the thing is that was my happy place. My happy place has always, always been YouTube. Like the fact that I can put headphones in and just sink into a world of like virtualness. That was literally my happy place. Like uh, anytime I was having a bad day, I would just 
slip away to the library, sign into a computer and watch some YouTube because it made me happy. Like the fact that I'm so content in this different world is insane to me. And I kind of decided um, once my son was about two or three years old, I've had a little bit more time and I just kind of thought about it. And I was like, you know, when my son goes to school and they say, what does what your mom do for a living? And he goes, factory work? Like, that doesn't make me happy. That doesn't make me excited about my life at all. I wasn't doing something that made me proud of myself. And I mean, I'm not, I'm still working where I work, but I'm also creating. I'm also really, really taking time weekly to sit down and think creatively. And I think that that's something that I really, really needed in my life. And I think that's why I took photography classes. And I think that's why I took guitar classes. And I think that's, that's because I just really needed that moment of, or that, that it was like a daily, yeah, like a daily hour of just time that I can be in my own head and time that I can just think differently and not be judged for it. So yeah, that is literally why I started my channel is like, it's, it's okay. It's like a mixture of three different things. So first of all, it's that I wanted the memories. I wanted to be able to keep track of my, my road trips, my, my kids growth, my own personal growth. I wanted to keep track of my own life and I have a really bad memory and Hey, how can you forget what you're doing when you've got a video literally saying, this is what I was doing this day when I was here. So that, and number two was creative outlet. I just needed somewhere to be myself where the only people watching me were the ones that cared. The only people who were, you know, the only people who have opinions are people who are kind of all like me, that they just kind of sink into the internet and do what they do. Um, and I guess the third reason is just, I don't know, cause I wanted to, <laughs> I just really wanted to. Anyway, so that is kind of the reason why I started my YouTube channel back in the day was just literally for memories, creativity, and because why the hell not? <laughs> I just really wanted to. It was, it was a good way to, in my mind, like eventually it could be a good way to open doors if I wanna write, like I, I do wanna write novels. I do wanna maybe consider doing music at some point. And YouTube is an amazing platform for anything like that. You know, you get so many opportunities handed to you. You can become anything you want. YouTube is, limitless you know that's the best thing about this platform is it's completely limitless and um yeah so that is the reason why i started my youtube channel and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and also before you disappear because i know you're about to click off and don't do it please remember to check out ellie she will be in the description below her link will be the first link do that do that do that remember that and That's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!